के म्यूट एवरीवन सिखाते तो उसके साथ साथ राइट ओके इन टुडेज लेक्चर एजेंड ऑफ एजेंड ऑफ टुडेज लेक्चर इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द वेरिएबल वी ऑलरेडी अंडरस्टैंड इन प्रीवियस टू लेक्चर्स व्हाट इज वेरिएबल नाउ इन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वेरिएबल्स and their differences we will compare all the differences with the help of a sample program so this whole things we will see everyone should be concentrated on this whole thing should be concentrated on this little little changes in your program and then you will understand the whole idea just concentrate all right uh, in today's lecture we will see global variable okay hold on okay global variable we already know uh, what is local variable before that local variable we know the difference we know the syntax of local variable and the definition of local variable remember that local variable definition then you will understand and you will uh, differentiate what is the difference between like local variable and global variable so first i am recalling it again the variable that is declared inside the function or block is called a local variable Okay, the variable that is declared inside the function or block is called local variable. We know that uh, with the help of the syntax for local variable, you can easily understand. Uh, inside this function one, function one is a user-defined function name. Okay, inside that function one, you can see in green color, you can see the open curly brace and close curly brace. In between that open curly brace and close curly brace, you will see one variable. That variable name is x. Okay, the data type is in. The value for that variable is ten. It means that ten will be stored into x, and it is a type of integer value. Okay, what is integer? Integer is a data type, and we will see in detail in next lecture. Okay, so the variable which are declare or the variable that is declare inside the function or block is called as a local variable. All right. So you can see with the help of this syntax, the integer x equals to ten means x is the variable which is declare inside the function. means inside the open and close curly brace okay so on behalf of that we can easily understand or we can easily uh, like put our thought into that like the scope of that local variable will be within the functions only last point just focus on last point the scope of the local variable will be within the functions only for that we have understand one example in last lecture like student from computer department student from electrical department student from it department so you are accessible to your only department only so the your department is your function and you are the local variable for that functions okay if i talk about any faculty so faculty is a global variable because it is apart from that i can a particular faculty can be communicate with the uh, like electrical student or particular faculty can communicate with the uh, like uh, mechanical or any other branch student so so now here you just remember the variable which are declared inside the function or block is called as local variable okay function or block both are the same block we called from open curly brace to close curly brace this whole thing we called it as a block okay so don't confuse in that function or block both are the same so those variable which are declared inside the function is nothing but local variable okay the next important point the scope of local variable scope of local variable means you can access that variable inside that functions only okay you can implement you can manipulate you can perform some operation like arithmetic or logical any kind of operation you can perform in that variable but you should or you are you are restricted that you can perform this kind of operation inside these functions only means from open curly brace to close curly brace i think that is enough to understand the local variable and with the help of example with the help of program we have already seen in last lectures okay if you want to take a reference from last lecture you can take a reference you can uh, download my video or from after this lectures i can put this all videos somewhere and i provide the link to access that video okay don't worry right so this is all about the local variable and these are some points important points we already discussed now the time is to understand global variable okay each and every point we will compare with the local variable so it is mandatory and necessary that uh, you need to understand that you need to <coughs> prepare all the concept related to local variable that we have seen in last lectures okay all right global variable the name itself says that it is global that's why it is called as a global variable global means everyone can access 
simple terms just keep in mind what is global variable everyone can access okay so the definition for global variable a variable that is declared outside the function or block variable that is declared outside the function or block i am recalling this definition a variable that is declared outside the function or a block is called a global variable okay what is the definition of local variable local variable is what the variable which are declared inside the function or block okay so global variable is the variable that is declared outside the function or block is called a global variable so that is the major and first difference okay in future or in upcoming more than or or in upcoming classes you can find everywhere like global variable and local variable it is mandatory that you need to understand you need to identify whether the given variable is local or global if it is a global then where and from where i can access that global variable if it is a local variable from where or inside where from i can access that local variable that you should be understand because it is very important once you understand the concept of global variable guys okay i'm recalling this point again once you understand the whole concept of variable means local global and static 50% yes ma'am new everyone okay 50% of next concept is function you will understand here only means if you understand the if you understand the whole concept of variable in this uh, in this two to three lectures so the next concept is what our next concept we are going to understand the concept of functions okay so while discussing functions you understand functions quite easily because 50% or more than 50% 60% the things which are available or the things which are going to discuss inside the uh, concept of functions the whole things you can under, you can clear here only so that is why each and every concept is depend on another concept okay so upcoming concept all upcoming concept all c programming not only concept all c programming is dependent on this first concept that is variable if you understand variable then it is quite easy to understand the function if you understand a variable and functions then it is quite easy to understand the structure it is easy to find uh, understand the concept of data types and all concept you can easily understand that's why i'm taking that much of time to clear you about the concept of variable okay all right a variable that is declared outside the function or block is called a global variable okay just concentrate on the syntax for global variable in front of your screen you can see that integer value equals to 20 here value is my variable name okay so instead of that i can use here okay hold on just a little bit change int here i am putting b okay b equals to 20 just concentrate so variable name we know that variable name can be changed variable name can be redefined so here the same thing i have uh, in front of you i have made some changes in my presentation you can see that just focus on the syntax and compare with the local variable okay the syntax for global variable integer b equals to 20 and it is called as global variable okay and void function one inside that void function one integer x equals to 10 and is called as local variable okay now you can easily compare both the variable with each other okay you can find here integer b equals to 20 is outside the main function or it is it is outside the functions okay if you compare this with local variable you can see that integer x equals to 10 is inside the function okay whereas Okay, in a global variable, you can see here. Integer b equals to twenty is outside the function one. Means you can easily identify and you can easily remember the definition of global variable. The variable that is a declare outside the function or block is called as global variable. Okay, so you can see here integer b equals to twenty and it is outside the function. okay inside the function you can see here another variable that is integer x equals to 10 and we called it as a local variable the whole things you can see and you can compare with each other i think everyone is clear with that so remember the definition global variable and local variable right how we can identify global variable and local variable by their syntax or by their implementation in program okay you can find such a kind of variables everywhere in program means 10 lines of code will be there 20 lines of code will be there 
if you make yourself more strong in c programming then you will face like 50 lines of code over there 100 lines of code over there and at expert level you can see that 1000 lines of code over there but if you are aware with this whole concept i am assured you everyone you can track you can understand the flow of control you can understand the flow of program quite easily whether there is a thousand lines of code is there or 100 lines of code is there or 10 lines of code is there just you need to understand the the implementation and the syntax is of all the concept in c programming language all right okay so any function can change the value of the global variable you can see here the next point at the same point first point any function can change the value of the global variable because 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 it is available to all functions why any function can change the value of global variable because it is available to all the functions okay what is the functions you can get quite easily in the next lecture how and how and what the functions is exactly but before that just i tell you the, a short idea about the function function is nothing but one kind of operation simple what's it is function is nothing but one kind of one kind of, it is a one kind of operations operations means inside that operation you can make some like some kind of, some kind of manipulation for example in the same in the same slide just i'm making some changes here is i wanted to make some addition okay so here i i can use function add and inside that add okay i can i can i can like use some two variables in teacher so y equals to like 10 20 y equals to 30 okay it is also one kind of local variable okay we are talking about now we are talking about the function okay don't confuse we are talking about the concept to understand this i am just putting here int y equals to 30 you, you can see here in this slide okay all right you can see here what is the function any function can change the value of global variable any function can change the value of global variable and my requirement suppose my requirement to add three numbers like b x and and y so b x and y these three values are available but x and y is in is in uh, like uh, add function as you can see on your screen so just concentrate function is nothing but one kind of operation okay one kind of operation operations like you can perform some arithmetic operations arithmetic operation means addition subtraction multiplication division or anything logical operation or any kind of operation some string manipulation you can perform this by using this function okay so that functions provided for example if you want to if you want to uh, okay uh, sakshi uh, sakshi pandit yes sir या साक्षी जब मैं आपसे बात कर रहा हूँ या फिर मेरा जो फ्लो ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन है वो फास्ट हो रहा है क्या स्लो करूँ मैं इसको थोड़ा सा नहीं नहीं सर ठीक है इज इट अंडरस्टैंडेबल यस यस या अभिजीत इज इट अंडरस्टैंडेबल यस सर या ओके हाईली इज इट अंडरस्टैंडेबल और मैं थोड़ा इसकी स्पीड को थोड़ा कम करूँ फ्लो ऑफ English no sir understandable yeah okay all right guys mm -hmm. agar aisa koi dikkat aata hai aapko beech mein to please unmute karke mujhe thoda sa stop karo ki sir thoda fast ja raha hai thoda sa slow kijiye to hum usko slow karenge theek hai okay so any function can change the value of the global variable any function can change the value of the global variable why because because it is available to all the functions And the next and important point, it must be declared at the start of this block. Okay, the same point when someone student asks me the question, like sir, why, why we are we use in uh, this uh, the we use this point in in a local variable to understand this point? Just concentrate. Let me open first. Hold on. Okay, everyone, hold on. I did plus. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Uh, local variable okay so this the function the point that we have just early discussed this is the point where that particular student asked me about that uh, like uh, uh, it must be declared at the start of this block because there here is the answer because once the control once the control 
over to here like you can see on your screen over to this close curly brace that time that control is directly switched to compiler okay then there is a need to provide one first call to that compiler that something is there don't go at output you have to execute something so that time that function or that function or that kind of variable that kind of function you must write down here okay because it is empty functions avanti is empty functions right so that that function should be there that's why i am specifically putting this line here it must be declared at the start of this start of the block right because of that once your control switch to this close curly brace you can see on your screen just focus on this presentation okay once your control after executing this line 1 line 2 line 3 line 4 that control will switch to this close curly brace and then compile everything or the compiler will think that program is over but at the same times when the compiler switch to execution that time that particular integer b or that functions can hit to the compiler and 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 inform the message don't go every anywhere i am present here pehle mera kaam karo then samne chalo theek hai so that's why it must be declared at the start of the block okay all right and we will see in more detail when we uh, we make ourselves in more practicable in programming okay don't worry so this is all about the um this is all about some important no, not all about so these are the some important point that you need to be always understand that variable that is declared outside the function or block or a global variable or it is called as global variable or any function can change the value of global variable why why because because it is available to all the functions how it is available all to all the function we will see with the help of example just concentrate okay next point the scope of the variable the scope of a global variable okay now we have seen in local variable what is the scope of local variable the scope of local variable is within the functions only okay because yeah right because it is a declare inside the function and it cannot be moved from that functions because of this open and close curly brace that's why we say that the scope of local variable is within the functions only okay here concentrate now we are directly comparing this global variable with local variable okay here you can see the first point the scope of a global variable will be through the program means through the program means inside program you can access global variable everywhere that's why in the previous slide any function can change the value of global variable it is mentioned here okay concentrate the scope of global variable will be throughout the program and these variables can be accessed from anywhere in the program means this variable can be accessed from anywhere uh, in in the program to understand in a real time example just principal sir is the best example to uh, understand the scope of global variable okay myself is is little bit restricted to department of computer science right my head of department is little bit restricted to department of computer science but if we talk about principal sir so principal sir is a global for everyone playing a role as a global person because every and each and every student whether it is student teaching depart teaching staff non teaching staff whether head of department or a different different deans of this college need to communicate with the principal sir and principal sir providing services to them everyone so here the scope of global variable throughout the program and these variables can be accessed from anywhere in the program means that student can directly communicate uh, with the principal sir faculty can be directly communicate with the principal sir non teaching staff can be directly communicate with the principal sir so here the simple example to understand the concept of global variable and local variable right so that's why i'm repeating this point the scope of global variable scope of global variable throughout the program and these variables can be accessed from anywhere in the program means anyone means any student faculty teaching non teaching staff can be accessed directly to principal sir so this is the scope of global variable the advantage of global variable the best advantage of global variable you can directly access the global variable in program you can access it you can change its value and so many things you can perform by the help of global variable okay all right this variable is defined outside the main function as we already seen i am repeating this point again so that this variable is visible to main function and all other sub functions getting 
so this is important point this variable is defined outside the main function because of that reason the variable is visible to main function and all other sub functions okay with the help of program we will prove it just concentrate here and we can recall it again okay variable which is declared outside the functions are called global variable a global variable is not limited to any function or file guys very important point global variable is not limited to any function or file it can be accessed by any function or outside of the file if you have not initiated the global variable then it is automatically initiated to or initialized to zero at the time of declaration so these three points we can prove with the help of program just concentrate here okay global variable are initialized as a zero if not initialized i hope you all know the concept of declaration and initializations right <coughs> yes sakshi sakshi yes गुड आई होप such a kind of answer i am expecting from everywhere but right now it is not possible because we are not physically present in class okay so this is the initialization and declaration means we haven't provide any value to the variable it is called declaration if you provide any value to variable it is called initialization initialization right so here the point is important if you have not initialized third point just concentrate if you have not initialized the global variable then then it is automatically initialized to zero okay at the time of declaration so how and how that can be things we can prove with the help of program we will see so the last point is important and it is interview question point guys remember it is interview question point it is exam question point global variable are initialized as a zero if not initialized explicitly it means if you declare any global variable like integer a and you haven't provide any value to that global variable so by default its value compiler consider as zero means during the time of during the time of declaration by default value of global variable is zero by default value of global variable is zero by default value of global variable is zero and remember guys this is out of 10 question there will be this kind of question if your interview is depends on c programming language okay so can we the question is simple can we without providing any value what will be the value of global variable simple question or some kind of like rounded question okay mute everyone yes mute was that ankit 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 Hello. Okay, mute, mute, mute your mic. Okay, concentrate. This interview question, providing any value to global variable, what will be the value of global variable? So it should be zero. Or like some question like, uh, if we haven't provide any value to that variable, it is considering by default as a zero value. So what kind of variable is that? So your answer must be, sir, it is global variable because at the time of declaration, if yeah. If, it is automatically initially is value and it is it is it is considered zero as a by default value of global variable so these whole things we will see with the help of program just concentrate here guys okay all right Let's switch karunga what about local right yeah yeah local local cannot be initialized to zero you need to provide value otherwise it will be empty it cannot occupy any okay. area local variable will not occupy me, any area yes Sir, if in uh, global variable we have put int a blank, and in local variable we have yes. put int a equal to ten, it will put value or not yes. in program? Yeah. In local variable will uh, put value as a ten in inside the. Okay, are sir. Are you getting? Are we? Yeah, because we yes. we we provide value to that local variable, right? If you yes, sir. Yeah, are you getting? Because we are providing directly value, we are storing ten into a, right? Yes. We yes. are not storing ten. 
we have we haven't provided any empty variable if we talk about like integer a in local variable okay inside the function if you declare any variable as a local so that we should be provide any value to that variable otherwise it will be treated as empty so there will be no space yes. there will be no memory location in local variable yeah the yes, program we run if we are putting global variable int a only any local variable as you have put int a equal to 10 then program we we run or not no in same program we we uh, already we discuss in the same program that there should be different types of variable name variable okay, okay, name sir. should be different okay you sir. cannot use the same variable name in the same program getting yes so yes sir you need to be aware with that okay and this is also same interview question guys i think everyone in our class i think everyone in our class that should be prepare in terms of question and answer make yourself to be like like ready to make question and yourself ready to answer it so if you learn in terms of this way definitely it will help you to understand c and it will definitely increase your interest to understand the subject because it is a little bit logical you you think like sir kya logically sab chal raha hai kuch samajh bhi nahi aa raha sab hawa mein ho raha hai sab aisa logical yes it is logical आप कभी सॉफ्टवेयर को महसूस ही नहीं कर पाओगे आपको पता नहीं है आपके फोन में जो शेयरिट का आप एप्लीकेशन यूज करते हो उसके पीछे थाउजेंड्स ऑफ लाइन कोड है तब जाके वो एप्लीकेशन काम करता है सो ये सब लॉजिकल होता है सो गाइस यू हैव टू इमेजिन इट यू टू इंक्रीज योर लॉजिक ओके सो जस्ट इमेजिन एंड अंडरस्टैंड इमेजिन एंड अंडरस्टैंड इमेजिन एंड अंडरस्टैंड राइट जिस तरीके से हम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी को देख नहीं सकते उसी तरीके से आपको प्रोग्रामिंग अंडरस्टैंड करनी है सो आई थिंक यू यस so exact where we have to use it global variable so that we whole things we will see just concentrate where we are using <laughs> okay to understand global variable i know i i provide you one example like principle sir okay and the same way for example if you want to access a uh, uh, like um, website of government of india okay if you want to access website of government of india or if you want to access the website of our college okay it is available to all student okay inside the student outside the student if you want to access this college college website okay you can easily access from your mobile phone anywhere any location from any location you can access our college website and you can access all the data okay but what about if you want to access the mail of our college you cannot access because you need to log in you you need to create your login id and password and then you can access the college login id and uh, college mails okay those you have graded like dot shgnc dot ac dot in right so you cannot access means those variable which are declared inside that college mail id it's called local variable means you should be first local person of this college and if you are outside student then you are global person for this college so to provide the accessibility to provide like a reachability to that person this concept is important you can find this concept everywhere in programming for again we can take an example of bank bank application okay you can access your account you cannot access banks all account means you cannot access apart from your account you cannot access other account but if you if you talk about the same thing to bank employee the bank employee can access all the accounts getting what i'm talking the bank uh, employee can access all the accounts means that time these kind of variables restricted to particular person a particular individual account holder but in the same way that variables is available to uh, like bank employee so these things you can understand that variables is important because it provide security it provide accessibility it restrict to access it provide accessibility also and it also restrict to access so these things we will see with the help of example don't worry okay all right okay let's go for hello sir yes as sir what is the block yeah uh, what is the block 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 is not yes. but a, yeah block is already discussed just concentrate guys that's why i'm told that's i'm telling you that you need be focus increase karo aapke speaker ka mic agar ghar mein home theater hoga to usko shuru karo kuch bade bade speaker kaan pe lagao taki aapko concentration bana rahe block is nothing but function starting with open curly brace ends with close curly brace inside this whole open and close curly brace you can call it as a block 
that's why because sometimes somewhere in future sometimes somewhere you can find out like what kind of block is this means what kind of function is this so similar name to function we called it as a block okay and i i, I personally i put it that word in in my in, in on our lecture because we are little bit familiar with the general terms of block block means something inside that it's called block so same thing is a function something inside that outside we cannot move from that so that is all about the block okay so guys the scope of global variables will be throughout the program and this variable can be accessed from everywhere or anywhere in the program the variable this variable is defined outside the main function so that the variable is visible to main function and all other sub functions also so these whole things we can see with the help of program because without example without program you cannot understand any point because we orally just talk about this but we need to prove it right just concentrate for that we will see the program of global variable where it is global variable yeah it is global variable okay is it visible guys yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir okay 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 concentrate hello sir yes सर लोकल वेरिएबल को वैल्यू नहीं दिए तो वो एम्प्टी हो जाएगा ना तो मतलब उसकी वैल्यू बाय डिफॉल्ट जीरो नहीं कंसीडर होती वो एम्प्टी वेरिएबल हो जाएगा उसके लिए कोई लोकेशन ही क्रिएट नहीं होगा जब हम उसको वैल्यू प्रोवाइड करेंगे तब जाके इसको लोकेशन क्रिएट होगा वहां पे कोई वैल्यू स्टोर नहीं होगी वहां जस्ट स्पेस क्रिएट हो जाएगा बोल तो लास्ट तक प्रोग्राम में नहीं रहेगा ना सर हां बोल तो वो प्रोग्राम में नहीं रहेगा अगर उसके वैल्यू 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 नहीं 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 वो प्रोग्राम जितनी बार आप प्रोग्राम एग्जीक्यूट करोगे वो प्रोग्राम में ही रहेगा वो काम करेगा बट उसमें कोई वैल्यू स्टोर नहीं होगी क्योंकि आपने क्या किया आपने सिर्फ उसको क्रिएट करके रख दिया फॉर एग्जांपल आपने क्या डिसाइड किया कि मुझे 2 महीने के बाद ट्रेन में जाना है ठीक है तो आपने क्या किया ट्रेन की टिकट को बुक कर दिया ठीक है दो महीने के लिए आपने उसको बुक कर दिया बट वो एम है अभी तक आपने उसके पैसे पे नहीं किए या फिर आप गए नहीं है फिर होता क्या है कि आपका ट्रेन आता है चले जाता है बट उसमें कोई बैठा ही नहीं है आप गए नहीं वो ट्रेन में वो सफर में आप किया ही नहीं तो क्या हो गया वो एम हो गया तो वो जो स्पेस है वो एम रहेगा वहाँ पे कोई वैल्यू नहीं है बट सेम अगर हम ग्लोबल वेरिएबल के साथ उसको कंपेयर करेंगे तो आपने टिकट बुक किया ठीक है उस दिन आप भले ही नहीं गए हो लेकिन वहाँ पे कोई तो भी एक टी जाके बैठेगा कोई भी जाके बैठेगा यानी कि जीरो यहाँ पे कोई तो भी जाके बैठ के चले जाएगा मतलब उसका बाय डिफॉल्ट वैल्यू जो जीरो है आई थिंक मेरा एग्जांपल थोड़ा सा गलत हो गया बट यही एग्जांपल आप कंसीडर करके चलो कि लोकल वेरिएबल जब हम डिक्लेयर करते हैं डिक्लेयर करते हैं विदाउट प्रोवाइडिंग एनी वैल्यू दैट टाइम वहाँ पे उस वेरिएबल के रेफरेंस थ्रू एक स्पेस क्रिएट होगा बट वहाँ पे कोई वैल्यू स्टोर नहीं होगी इफ यू कंपेयर द सेम थिंग विद ग्लोबल वेरिएबल देन यू कैन सी दैट देर विल बी बाई डिफॉल्ट जीरो विल बी देर इफ यू हैवेंट प्रोवाइड एनी वैल्यू टू ग्लोबल वेरिएबल गेटिंग जैसे हमने पहले लेक्चर में देखा था कि वहाँ पे 20 वैल्यू सो सेव हो रही थी a इक्वल्स टू 20 इंटीजर a इक्वल्स टू 20 तो वहाँ पे 20 सेव हो रहा था तो ग्लोबल वेरिएबल में अगर सपोज अगर मैं यूज़ करता हूँ इंटीजर a एंड देन वैल्यू प्रोवाइड नहीं कर रहा तो वहाँ पे जीरो स्टोर हो गया गेटिंग यस या ओके कंसंट्रेट ऑन दिस गाइस कंसंट्रेट ऑन दिस प्रोग्राम यस yes. सर अगर हमने लोकल वेरिएबल हमने डिक्लेयर किया उसको वैल्यू नहीं दी लेकिन हमने प्रिंट किया तो प्रिंट क्या होगा खाली स्पेस या फिर वॉइड कुछ ऐसा प्रिंट होगा आएगा ही नहीं ना प्रिंट में क्या आएगा मतलब मैं ये देगा ना एरर देगा ना एरर नहीं कुछ नहीं दिखेंगे ना कुछ दिखेंगे नहीं ना खाली गार्बेज वैल्यू भी नहीं दिखेंगे क्या नहीं भाई गार्बेज वैल्यू क्या होता है Anyone tell me garbage value is what? Positive negative. It is a random value, sir. ऐसे कैसे random value आएगी? मतलब आपकी seat पे कोई भी randomly चला जाएगा. इतना security system poor है क्या India का? आपके class में कोई भी random आपके नाम पे आके बैठ के चला जाएगा क्या आपके class के lecture में? No no no. Garbage no, value is a different concept, guys. वो देखेंगे. थोड़ा सा concentrate करो. जिस topic पे हम focus कर रहे हैं ना. वो सीख लो आपको सारी चीजें इजीली थोड़ी थोड़ी एकदम से आप तो खाना नहीं खाते ना धीरे धीरे खाते हो क्या मतलब ऐसे थाली सामने आ गई लगा दी मुंह को रपक से अंदर ऐसा खाते हो क्या खाना नहीं हम थोड़ा थोड़ा खाते हैं थोड़ा अचार लेते हैं थोड़ा नमक लेते हैं लींबू लेते हैं ये सारी चीजें थोड़ी थोड़ी लेते हैं ना है ना तो अभी हम क्या कर रहे हैं अभी हम थाली को परोस रहे हैं थोड़ा सा कॉन्सेंट्रेट करो आपको सारी चीजें धीरे धीरे समझ में आएंगी ओके 
सो so, अगर हम वेरिएबल okay. को कोई भी वैल्यू अगर नहीं देते हैं तो क्या होता है कि वो उसकी वैल्यू जीरो बाय डिफॉल्ट लोकल वेरिएबल की नहीं लेता वेयर एज ग्लोबल की लेता है ओके okay? कॉन्सेंट्रेट हम उसको प्रूफ करेंगे ऑल राइट कॉन्सेंट्रेट वी हाउ वन प्रोग्राम to understand the concept of global variable okay we have header file include studio.h we have one function function called as void test okay comment me dal deta hu it's called function okay we have one function void test okay and inside that void test you can see two variables integer m equals to 22 and n equals to 44 right we call it as global variable global variable right both are the global variable how both are global variable because both the variables are declared outside the functions means ab dekhoge kisi function ke andar humne usko declare nahi kiya ab dekhoge test function तो इसका मैंने कोई कर्ली प्रेस ओपन नहीं किया जैसे आपके स्क्रीन के ऊपर दिखेगा अगर मैं इसको इस तरीके से ओपन करता हूँ तो फिर वो फंक्शन के अंदर कंसीडर किए जाएंगे अगर मैं इसको इस तरीके से यूज करता हूँ तो ठीक है आप देखोगे आपकी स्क्रीन के ऊपर ओके अगर मैं इस तरीके से उसको इन अगर मैं फंक्शन के अंदर लेता हूँ देन इट इज ट्रीटेड एज अ लोकल वेरियबल राइट राइट नाउ इट इज राइट नाउ इट इज ग्लोबल वेरियबल बिकॉज इट इज आउटसाइड ग्लोबल वेरियबल आपके प्रोग्राम में आपकी स्क्रीन के ऊपर ही दिख रहा है लाइन नंबर नाइन यू कैन यूज वाइड अवंती का नाम लिया था लास्ट टाइम यहाँ पे आप कोई भी नाम ले सकते हो All right. So integer here you can see two variables are there. Not a two, four variables are there. Integer m equals to twenty, n equals to forty-four. Integer a equals to fifty and b equals to eighty. So we have used four variables. These are the integer type of variable. Integer is a data type. We will see in details in next lecture. Okay. All right. So here your program can start with the main function that is void. Mute everyone. Mute. Rupali. Rupali Ingle. Mute. Mic on mute. Karo. Okay. Here you can see your main function. Main function means I am recalling it again and again. Your program always start with main function. C program always start with main function. C program always start with main function means header files. के बाद सीधा control कहाँ जाएगा? Your main function को, right? So C program always start with your main function. Okay. So main is a function and main is a not a user defined it is it is, is pre defined program yeah. by compiler it is pre defined functions right good it is pre defined mm -hmm. function right okay so once your program start with the main function you can see short and easy program to understand the concept of global variable you can see here print up statement is there okay all variable all variables are accessed from main functions all variable are accessed from main functions right and these variables are 
M N A B. M N A B. Right? You can access all the variables from main functions. Right. So the next function is here. White test. It is. White test is. White test is a. These are defined functions. Okay. Now we have created function here. Okay, in front of your screen, you can see void test. We have created one empty functions means we haven't provided any body to that functions. We haven't provided any block to that functions. Okay, but in future I wanted to execute it. That's purpose with the purpose of that I have create this function. But here I initialize that functions. Which functions? Void test. Here I initialize that functions means here I provide body to that. functions body means i have provided one block to that functions from open curly brace to close curly brace okay all right so here you can see printf all variables are accessed from test function the same statement you can find here all variable you can access from test functions in main function also all variables are accessed from main functions all variables means a All variables means m, n, a, and b. Mm -hmm. These both the variables are right. So here again, all variables are accessed from test function. Okay, test function is a different function. Main function is your main function. Okay, so here you can here also you can access m, n, a, b, and the same m, n, a, b. Both the four variables you can access from main function also, and both the variables you can access from test function also. Now the question and the difference between local and global. Okay, local variable can access, or the scope of local variable is within the functions, right? And the scope of global variable is throughout the program. Yeah, complete program. Okay, now you you can outside compare. the function. Yeah, good. You can compare this concept with this help of program. Integer m, n, a, and the b. Both the four variables are global variable because of that global nature. main function can also access m n a b and the test function can also able to access the m n a b as you can see on your screen okay now just take look and we will see the output of this program okay save it you can see your program will be run and that m n a b will be execute and you can easily identify it you can see on your screen is it visible m n a b okay and just concentrate on this just concentrate on this statement all the functions all the variables are accessed from main function okay execute ho gaya okay and the same variable execute second time all the variables access from test function here m 22 n 34 a 50 b 80 here you can say that these global variables are executed two times by different different two functions waiting you can execute global variable two times by different different functions functions are different means main function is different and test function is different is both the variable accessing this global variable okay because of that nature it is called as a global variable if you if you declare any third function here okay concentrate here i can declare here third function control c just concentrate guys here i am going to declare one third functions and we call it as a test one okay for that we need to redefine it again and we need to call it as a test one okay so the same code you can access here my copy paste kar raha hu that's why i like to work on edit plus Access from test one. यहाँ पे मैं इसको नाम दे रहा हूँ test one. Okay, all the variables are accessed from test one function, as you can see. Okay, so you can see here that program will run three times. That variables will execute or run three times. Okay, concentrate. फिर एक बार values change करके देखिए ना. या बिल्कुल जरूर. Just hold on. Okay, one second. White test. 
पर वो कॉल नहीं करेगा वो टेस्ट कॉल नहीं करेगा फंक्शन कॉल ही नहीं करा टेस्ट कॉल का फंक्शन कॉल करना फंक्शन कॉल नहीं करा या 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 ओके मेन मेथड में या मेन मेथड में कॉल करना ओके गुड वेरी गुड गाइस थैंक यू फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट माय मिस्टेक आई एम टू मच हैप्पी विद दैट थैंक यू सो मच ओके हियर मैं उसको कॉल कर रहा हूं गुड मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा ये सुन के अभी मैं उसको कॉल कर रहा हूं ठीक है तो क्या होगा ये आपको देखिएगा कि ये जो वेरिएबल्स है ये थ्री टाइम्स एग्जीक्यूट हो गए जस्ट होल्ड ऑन मुझे यहां पे थोड़ा सा स्लैश इनपुट करने दो ताकि आपको और अच्छा दिखेगा या स्लैश इन और यहां पे भी मैं स्लैश इनपुट करता हूं जस्ट कंसंट्रेट स्लैश सेव इट एंड आई एम एग्जीक्यूटिंग इट यू विल सी द होल थिंग राइट हियर सो मैंने क्या किया यहां पे आई हैव यूज्ड मल्टीपल फंक्शंस हियर टेस्ट टेस्ट 1 एंड वर्ड में so these three variables are accessible throughout the program you can access everywhere this variable you can access it you can manipulate it you can manage it so now you can understand the importance of global variable and because of that nature it is called as a global variable i hope everyone understand this concept because of that nature we called it as global variable okay you can change value you can manage for example suppose inside the function of test you can you can manage or you can provide some addition here you can perform some addition also right you can you can perform some additions you can you can perform addition of m and n here inside the test function you can perform addition or you can perform some subtraction inside the test one function also anyone can send me anyone can uh, tell me the code for performing addition inside the function yes kisko add karna hai sir सर चलो हम ए और बी को ऐड करते हैं यार तो सर डायरेक्टली कर सकते हैं ए प्लस बी लिख सकते हैं ए प्लस बी कैसे करेंगे प्रिंट प्रिंट एफ प्रिंट एफ का फंक्शन है तीसरा वेरिएबल बना सकते हैं एक लाइन कर लीजिए उसको वैल्यू परसेंट डी करके उसको प्रिंट एफ बोलो बोलो मुझे कोड बोलो चलो प्रिंट एफ एक्स इक्वल टू ए प्लस बी परसेंट डी लिखना पड़ेगा पहले परसेंट डी गुड परसेंट डी सॉरी परसेंट डी परसेंट डी परसेंट डी परसेंट डी फिर उसके बाद में ए प्लस बी लिख देंगे ए प्लस बी ए प्लस बी बी ए प्लस बी अब ए प्लस बी मतलब यहाँ पे हमने जो वेरिएबल यूज किए हैं ए कोस टू फिफ्टी एंड बी कोस टू एटी इसका एडिशन होना चाहिए राइट राइट चलो हम इसको सेव करते हैं और हम इसको एग्जीक्यूट करते हैं Yeah, here. Yeah, what? तो उसको main में लिखना भूल गए ना? नहीं आपने save नहीं करा था शायद। आगे sir, आगे। आगे ना sir। आगे। 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 � देता मैं बिट आप देखोगे आपके स्क्रीन के ऊपर गाइस आउटपुट में आपको 130 दिख रहा है आई थिंक एवरीवन यस सर या यस सर यस सर आप देखोगे या आप देखोगे टेस्ट वन फंक्शन में आई हैव यूज दिस वेरिएबल ग्लोबल वेरिएबल इनसाइड द टेस्ट फंक्शन and i perform some operation like operation addition yaar mute karo please right maine kya kiya isko operation perform kiya 130 ka okay chalo mujhe ab mujhe kya karna hai mujhe aur ek operation perform karna hai but thoda sa different hai aur mujhe dusra hello sir me karna hai yes sir isme auto save ka function hoga na jaisa vs code mein aata hai ki nahi hai isme wo isme baad mein baat karenge na uske upar abhi focus karte hai iske upar theek hai a minus b okay a minus भी चलो मुझे क्या करना है अभी एक जगह एक फंक्शन में मुझे एडिशन की जरूरत है एक फंक्शन में मुझे जरूरत है सब्सट्रैक्शन करने की सो मैं क्या करूंगा इसको सब्सट्रैक्शन के फॉर्म में इसको यूटिलाइज करूंगा फंक्शन को आप देखोगे आपके स्क्रीन के ऊपर ए की वैल्यू है 50 और बी की वैल्यू है व्हाट इज बी इज 80 सो आप देखोगे आपका रिजल्ट पहले फंक्शन -30 ओके 130 सो now with the help of this example you can see that k global variable we can use global variable anywhere everywhere inside the function and outside the function also is it clear guys 
यस सर 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 अगर हम ये टेस्ट वन को इसमें ना कॉल किए मेन फंक्शन में ना कॉल करते हुए टेस्ट फंक्शन में किए तो चलेगा क्या सर चलेगा It is possible, guys. मुझे बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है कि आप इस तरीके के क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे हो मतलब कि मैं आप तक पहुंच रहा हूँ ठीक है क्योंकि फिजिकल क्लास नहीं है अगर मैं लिटरली बता था अगर फिजिकली हम लोग क्लास में प्रेजेंट रहते थे तो मैं आपके आंखों से ही पहचान लेता था कि किसी को समझा और किसी को नहीं समझा मजा आता था पढ़ने में और पढ़ाने में ठीक है बट एनी anyway, आप क्वेश्चन पूछ रहे हो मतलब मैं समझ रहा हूँ कि सबके सबको अंडरस्टैंड हो रहा है थोड़ा सा लेवल वो है क्योंकि हमारा टाइम ज्यादा जाता है क्योंकि ये सारी चीजों में बिकॉज बार बार रिकॉल करना पड़ता है बार बार समझाना पड़ता है सारी चीजों को बट ठीक है मुझे आपके क्वेश्चंस और आपके जो इनपुट है उसके आई क्वाइट हैप्पी विद दैट ओके सो आई एम रिकॉलिंग दिस पॉइंट अगेन एवरी वन प्लीज कॉन्सेंट्रेट द स्कोप ऑफ ग्लोबल वेरिएबल विल बी थ्रू आउट द प्रोग्राम एंड दिस वेरिएबल कैन बी एक्सेस फ्रॉम एनी वेयर इन द प्रोग्राम एंड वी हैव प्रूफ विद दिस प्रोग्राम राइट द स्कोप ऑफ ग्लोबल वेरिएबल रिमेम्बर दिस प्रोग्राम थ्रू आउट द प्रोग्राम यू कैन एक्सेस ग्लोबल वेरिएबल and this variable can be accessed from anywhere you can see you can see with the help of this program from test1 function i access uh, variable test function also i can access the global variable and of main function means from main functions also i was able to access this variable from different three functions i was able to access this variables getting so this variable is defined outside the main function right and so that this variable is visible from main function to all other sub functions okay you can see here with the help of you can compare this program with this point <coughs> not only main function can access it it can be available to all other sub functions also sub functions was nothing but test and the test one right okay the variable which is declared outside the functions are called as global variable okay and the global variable is not limited to any functions means it is not limited to only main functions it can be available to test function also it can be available to test one and you can add number of functions over there you can perform number of actions you can perform number of operations over there that global variable is ready to serve you okay so file can be accessed from any function or outside the file also if you have not initialized the global variable that is point important if you not initialize the global variable then it's automatically initialized to zero at the time of declaration okay to understand to prove this point we will take an another example of program and we will move forward okay the global variable are initialized as a zero if not initialized explicitly not initialized explicitly means if you not provide any value to the global variable okay guys hold on okay we will see with the help of program and i think each and every concept should be clear with the help of program otherwise वो पोपट मंजी जैसा हम पॉइंट पे डिस्कस करेंगे और सामने बढ़ेंगे तो आपको समझ में अभी तो समझ में मतलब रटने लायक जो रटते उनके लिए ठीक रहेगा बट जो लॉजिकली थिंक करते उनके लिए डिफिकल्ट होता है सो ग्लोबल वेरिएबल्स आर इनिशियलाइज एज जीरो इफ नॉट इनिशियलाइज एक्सप्लिसिटली हाउ इट ग्लोबल वेरिएबल्स आर इनिशियलाइज एज जीरो वेन वी नॉट प्रोवाइड एनी वैल्यू टू दैट वेरिएबल देन वी विल सी विद हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल ओके कॉन्सेंट्रेट हेयर गाइज ओके एग्जाम्पल फॉर ग्लोबल वेरिएबल हेयर okay you can see on your screen so these are the global variable okay is it visible ajinkya yes sir yes sir yes sir okay okay yes sir okay all right hash include studio dot h that is our header file we have create one variable that variable name is data okay and with the help of data type that data type is integer okay and we have create one main function uh that is main function and we, as we know that each and every c program started with the main function okay so here we, we have one function printf and you can use here data percent d and the data okay I, in this example you can see that integer data okay data is a data is my variable name data is my variable name we called it as a identifier also global variable or we can call it as Or we can call it as identifier. Okay, 
or we can call it as identifier okay so int data but here we haven't provided any value guys now if you haven't provided any value then the output should be empty as we as we have seen in the local variable as we have seen with the help of example of local variable but here what will happen just concentrate here i am saving this application and run it okay you can see here data equals to data equals to Zero. 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 Okay. 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 This is important point. This is important concept. Interview point of view, exam point of view, knowledge point of view. Everyone should be remember. If we haven't provided any value to the global variable, by default value of global variable is zero after the declaration. Okay. अब थोड़ा प्रोग्राम में चेंज करके देखते हैं चलो ग्लोबल वेरिएबल को यस वैल्यू प्रोवाइड करके देखते हैं यस सर इफ वी Uh, perform multiplication using uh, that uh, global variable which we not uh, initialize then what happens sir it gives zero i'm not getting it. can you recall it sir sir apan uh, do very global variable getla jo ah. manje initialize nahi kela tela मल्टीप्लिकेशन परफॉर्म के लिए तर मग आपला जीरोस मिळणार का म्हणजे तो जीरो असते ना हे बघ आता फॉर एग्जांपल तू प्लेट घेतली जेवणाला ठीक आहे त्याच्यामध्ये जेवणच नाही तू तो पोट भरेल का नाही म्हणजे आपण त्याला मल्टीप्लिकेशन केलं जस्ट इमेजिन करो हां नाही जे एग्जांपल दे रहा हूं सभी स्टूडेंट के लिए नॉट ओनली फॉर यू आपने प्लेट लिया आपको खाना खाना है आपने प्लेट लिया बस प्लेट में खाना नहीं है बट आप सामने बैठे हो तो आप कोई ऑपरेशन yes. उसके ऊपर परफॉर्म कर सकते हो क्या मतलब निवाला तोड़ रहे हो सब्जी में डुबा रहे हो नहीं, रहे हो, नहीं कर सकते ऑपरेशन oh, so, करने की कोशिश भी करेंगे तो होगा क्या नथिंग एट ऑल राइट गेटिंग ओके नाउ अभी हम इसको वैल्यू प्रोवाइड करके देखते ना क्या होता है यस हां सर आपने बोला कि ग्लोबल वेरिएबल जो है वो आउटसाइड द फाइल भी हम एक्सेस कर सकते हैं तो मतलब आउटसाइड द फाइल मतलब वो फाइल फाइल या 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 होल्ड ऑन होल्ड ऑन आउटसाइड द फाइल मतलब वंस यू आर एबल टू लाइक कन्वर्टिंग इट इनटू एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर व्हाट इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर गाइस सॉफ्टवेयर इज नथिंग बट कलेक्शन ऑफ प्रोग्राम नॉट ओनली सिंगल प्रोग्राम software is not a single program okay multiple thousands of program coming coming together combined together bind together and the different different programs communicating each other depends on the requirement and it execute and display on your screen or you can use it that application so the global variable are those kind of variable can be accessed from one program to another program from one file to another file that's why i specifically put this point in in your uh, like presentation getting so global variable can be able to access okay yeah hello okay sir yeah okay yes sir. yes sir yes yeah okay guys just concentrate here integer data equals to 10 here i am providing value to that uh, global variable uh, inside the uh, that uh, during the execution here now saving this application you will see the output like data equals to on your screen you can see data equals to 10 means what yeah. once you provide the value it will take a value or once you remove the value okay once you remove the value it will consider by default as a zero dhyan mein rahega yes yes sir yeah okay uh, yes sir yes sir yes sir so you can face one question sir? at the time of duration time du during the time of interview zero value for which data type or zero value by default zero value for which data type answer should be global, global data type global global, 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 global variable good and this kind of data this kind of uh, most, program most is all right so this is all about the global variable just concentrate here guys <coughs> okay hum ab switch karte hain hamare presentation ke upar abhi tak clear hua sabka yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir Yeah. Any question? Yes. Sir, why have you written? Sir, what is it? Yeah. 
so why have we written uh, return zero टाइप That value should be that type of data means it should be zero. It should be zero or it should be one or what? What? Whatever the operation re returning that value. That's that is value should be providing as a return type. Okay. <coughs> now my function, now my variable does not returning any value. That's why I'm returning here zero, right? Because the data type is integer. Data type is integer, and we call it as a return type. Okay, we call it as a Return type. Okay, to understand it, to understand it again, I can use here void also. Okay. So what it. will happen if we remove it? Return zero. Yeah, just just concentrate. I'm removing it. I'm removing it. Okay, save it, run it. You can face an error. Just concentrate on screen. I remove and I replace it with void. Void is an empty return type. Okay, you can see on your screen. The return with a value, return as a zero. मतलब return zero वो compiler को समझ में नहीं आ रहा. ये return zero क्या है? क्या statement है? वो compiler को समझ में नहीं आ रहा. अगर मैं यहाँ पे void use करता हूँ, तो मुझे यहाँ से return zero हटाना पड़ेगा. Okay, मैं इसको remove कर दूँगा. ठीक है? मैं इसको remove कर देता हूँ. ठीक है? चलो अभी मैं program को save करता हूँ. Okay, now it is ready to access and now you can see the output. Data goes to zero. Program has been executed, as you can see. Okay, so it is completely depends on the return type. What type of return data that function is going to return? Here, my function does not returning any value, but I use here as an integer return type. I use here as an integer return type because of that reason, I need to use this return zero functions over there. It is mandatory. I need to use it. Ready? Because I use here return type as an integer, but my function does not return any value. It is not mandatory that we should use here as a return type, as an integer, as a return type. Okay, I can use here void because my function does not return any value, and because of that reason, I need to remove return zero because it refer to integer value. So I remove it. I can save it. I can again compile and run it. So you can see here, the program will execute without return zero statement. Is it clear, everyone? Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How many student? One forty-one. Okay. ठीक है. So the next, uh, next. अभी pre presentation पे जाते हैं. ठीक है. So next topic is the static variable. It is quite easy, guys. मुझे थोड़ा दो मिनट का break चाहिए. Uh, मैं दो मिनट में आप इसको attach कर connect करता हूँ आप लोगों को. ज्वाइन करता हूँ बस दो मिनट के लिए मुझे दो मिनट का ब्रेक दो मैं पानी भी क्या था ओके तो भी पानी ला
Okay. Is it audible, everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Concentrate. The static variable. Mm -hmm. Okay, just focus on this. We have seen local variable and global variable. The difference between local variable and global variable. The local variable, the variable which are declared inside the function, we called it as local variable. Whereas the variable which are declared inside sorry outside the function we called it as a global variable the scope of local variable is within the functions only the scope of global variable throughout the program you can access yeah. from anywhere everywhere right yes, the, the 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 static variable is a little bit similar to global variable but here a short difference between static and local variable just concentrate here what is it and how we can understand it the variable that is declared with the static keyword okay easily you can identify static variable in program easily you can identify that this this type of variable is a static variable okay you can understand it with the help of static keyword static word you can follow always with that variable name okay just concentrate a variable that is a declare with the static keyword is called a static variable the variable that is declare with the static keyword is called a static variable it returns its value between multiple functions called multiple functions called means as same like uh, it can work like a global variable it returns its value between multiple functions calls and it can be ready to access okay just concentrate syntax for static variable static data type variable name and the value okay you can see a static data type data type that is static is a keyword data type integer variable name whatever name like data a b c m and you can use here and the value the value is like 10 20 30 40 50 whatever the value that you need to provide over there you can see here just concentrate my thoda sa isko edit karta hu static ko okay hold on so you can differentiate it okay variable म्यूट करो कोने तो साक्षी बॉम्बे म्यूटेड सर या ओके ओके ऑल राइट स्टैटिक वेरिएबल द वेरिएबल दैट इज डिक्लेयर विद द स्टैटिक कीवर्ड हियर यू कैन सी इन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जांपल स्टैटिक कीवर्ड ऑलवेज देयर if the if the variable followed with the keyword as static then you can directly say that this is the static variable okay with the help of the syntax static data type variable name and the value okay example static integer is my data type a b c is my variable name and 80 is the value of that variable that means 80 will be stored into a b c getting is there any problem in this yes, points yeah okay all right just concentrate the default initialization value for static variable is zero as global variable same like as a static variable default initialization value for static variable is zero even if it is not assigned which is not case in the local variable means like global variable same like the default value for static variable is a to understand it we have we will see with the help of program right the variable which is which which uh, like uh, having the static keyword you can call it as a static variable okay and the default even value for static variable is zero yes even if it is not assigned matlab humne compiler kiya hi nahi 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 even it not even even if it is not assigned assign means humne value hi nahi diya usko like integer a equals to 20 assigning value mean providing value even it is not provide value okay instead of assign i can use here provide okay. even it is not provided okay humne koi value provide nahi kiya fir bhi uski by default value jaise ki as we have seen in global variable the default value for global variable is zero same likewise default value for static variable is so same means the only local variable is different in in this case the the same point can you can observe in a global variable the same point you can observe in local variable just keep in mind how we can identify static variable 
the static keyword is always with that okay static system defined word or static s t a t i c static keyword always in front of data type as you can see on your screen int main okay from that int main ab wapas se confuse ho jaunge main yahan pe void use karta hu okay example hai ye okay void you can see okay so hold on as you can see the example program static int a and here i am printing that value a okay so the default initialization value for static variable is zero if it is not assigned means if you not provide value to that variable a so default value is zero same like as a global variable okay which is not in the case of local variable local variable mein aisa nahi hota hai jaise static aur global mein hota hai the next important point is concentrate guys the static variable is kept in memory till the end of a program static variable is kept in the memory till the end of the program whereas normal variable is destroyed when the function is over so that is important point static variable is kept in the memory till the end of the program means jab tak aapka program hai tab tak static variable mein jo bhi memory jo bhi value hai wo as it is rahengi but normal variable jo baki ke variables hai iski value डिस्ट्रॉय होती है जैसे ही फंक्शन खत्म होता है गेटिंग सो दैट इज दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इफ एनी वन आस्क अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्टैटिक एंड ग्लोबल दैट पॉइंट शुड बी देयर स्टैटिक वेरिएबल इज केप्ट इन अ मेमोरी टिल द एंड ऑफ द प्रोग्राम वेयर एज अ नॉर्मल वेरिएबल डिस्ट्रॉयड व्हेन द फंक्शन इज ओवर विद द हेल्प ऑफ प्रोग्राम वी विल अंडरस्टैंड इट ओके राइट ओके स्टैटिक वेरिएबल्स इनसाइड द फंक्शंस static variable inside the function hold the value excuse Not... me sir yes sir second point repeat kijiye okay the static variable is kept hold karke rakhta hai okay static variable is kept in memory till the end of the program matlab jab tak aapka program run hota hai jab tak aapka program continue screen ke upar hai tab tak uski memory jo hai wo uski jo value hai wo memory mein as it is rahengi but whereas a normal variable it is a destroy when the function is over to understand this point just take example like hum login karte hai google pe to ek window open hota hai ek window open hoti hai jahan pe aata hai login id aur niche aata hai password login id aur password hum login karte hain hamara kaam khatam kar de log out kar dete hain lekin jab hum wapas se login karne jate hain that time the same message you can observe here login id and the password so this login id and password are the r you can access you can see on your screen because of the feature of static variable this data has been stored with the help of static variable jab tak wo aapke screen ke upar hai wo value as it is rahengi usko koi manipulate change ya khatam nahi kar sakta ya fir vulnerable nahi hogi that's why those data those name those identity that we need to keep constant that kind of things we can represent with the help of static keyword and with with more detail we will see in upcoming programs upcoming class don't worry can static variable be the yes hello sir yes can static variable be a local variable because it is defined inside the function yeah 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 static variable is local variable but you cannot call here as a local variable because you should call it as a static variable because static variable is there okay and another important point you can you can declare static variable inside the function also and you can declare static variable outside the function also okay. right so that is the major difference okay so the static variable kept in the memory till the end of the program whereas normal variable is destroyed when the function is over right static variable inside the functions important point static variable inside the function the static variable inside the function hold the value not only till the end of the function block but it but till the end of the entire program same point i am elaborated here in this point right static variable inside the function hold the value not only till the end of the function block but till the end of the entire program okay okay all right just understand it with the help of program we will see in more detail okay the static variable lives throughout the program but there is a scope in the module in which it has been declared mean the scope of static variable 
scope of static variable is like a global variable. You can access static variable from anywhere when the scope of static variable is throughout the program. See the below program in which I have created local static variable as a data one and the life of a data one is throughout the program, but it will visible only test function. Just concentrate with the help of this program. This is important point and then we can prove that point with the help of program. Okay, just hold on. Static variable. Okay, you can see we can prove that first point that static variable. Okay, as you as you can see, is it as you can see on your screen here is a static static int a here static int a we just declare a variable here we just declare variable okay here we just declare variable okay static int a we haven't provided any value to that variable I won't provide any value to that variable. We just declare that variable, right? Concentrate here. So static int a, we haven't provided any value to that variable as you can see on your screen, okay? We haven't provided any value. So now, now we are going to execute this program as like a global variable, save it, okay, run it. You can see zero here you, on your screen, you can see here. Getting okay, my isko thoda sa aur ek slash and use karta hu. so I'm go or easy hoga understand on me. Take a or ek slash and use karta hu. jo niche ki line hai, fir aur zada niche aa jayenge. Okay, concentrate here. Now you can see the output, the default value for static variable is zero. Zero, zero, you can see, zero, right? So default value for static variable is zero. We haven't provided any value. Okay, fine, fine. Here now I'm going to provide value for static variable a equals to like uh, 56, right? Here, save it. Now you can see on your screen, 56 is my output. We have provided value as a 56, getting? So if you look backward to your first lecture related to variable in that we have seen how that data can be stored into memory location. That time we have taken one example, integer a equals to 20. So after a is a is identifier and 20 is a value. Okay. But if you compare the same example with the static or global variable, you can see that if we haven't provided any value to that variable. So that time there will be there will be zero and then zero will be there inside that location. Zero value will be there means it is it will it will not treat it as an empty value. Okay. Okay. This point has been clear. Everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, 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 Void लिखेंगे तो हाँ void लिखेंगे तो definitely int लिखेंगे तो लिखना पड़ेगा ना sir sir return zero आपने previous program हाँ ना int लिखेंगे तो आपको लिखना पड़ेगा but अभी रहने देते इसको ठीक है क्यों execute हुआ कैसे हो गया ये आपको मैं बाद में बता दूँगा okay don't worry nice question अच्छा point पकड़ा आपने ठीक है I appreciate ओके okay, आप थोड़ा कंसंट्रेट करो क्योंकि अभी अगर उसके ऊपर बात करेंगे तो हमारा लेक्चर और ज्यादा 15 मिनट सामने जाएगा जो कि इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है एज पर माय पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके जस्ट कंसंट्रेट वी विल वी विल मैनेज इट ओके अगर मैं वॉइड यूज करता हूं तो भी मेरा प्रोग्राम रन होता है ओके okay? अगर मैं वॉइड भी आप यूज करता हूं तो भी मेरा प्रोग्राम जो है वो रन होगा एज योर स्क्रीन यू कैन सी हियर जीरो ओके द पॉइंट हैज बीन क्लियर आई थिंक ओके कंसंट्रेट हियर द स्टैटिक वेरिएबल लाइव थ्रू आउट द प्रोग्राम but there is a scope in the module in which it has been declared. See the below program in which I have created, like as we have seen in program, just next program we will prove it. Just concentrate here. You can see on your screen, guys. 
just hold on yeah it is visible to everyone i i hope everyone is visible okay you can see here we have created one header file okay and inside that we have declare one variable static here you can see on your screen static data one okay static data one okay and an initialize global variable store in bss okay so here another to another variable static int data two as you on your screen you can see sorry as 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 you can see on your screen like static int data one and data two as you can see on your screen okay first variable we haven't provide any value it is data one okay by default it should be zero there should be zero and here it is static int data two okay here we have initialized that variable with zero value means whether it is considering by default zero value but here we have provide direct value to that static variable that is zero means by default it will treat it as a zero and by providing value it will treat it as a zero okay just concentrate here instead of int i am again retaining here v o i t wait okay and the return zero statement will be removed from here okay just concentrate so now you can see in your main function you can see static data three third variable you can see here third variable static data three right and you can see here fourth variable sorry you can see here fourth variable that is static int data four equals to zero now what should be there at at the end of output data one data two data three that should be equals to zero zero Zero. 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 Right? There should be zero. 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 Right? Okay. Very good. Just concentrate here, guys. Now I will run this program. It's very important. Now I will run it. What is output? Me kya hai? Data 1 equals to 0. Data 2 equals to 0. Data 3 equals to 0. Data 4 equals to 0. Here the point is to be remember. Yeah. Here the point is to remember that if we provide value to the static variable if you provide value to static variable as a zero so it will consider the provided value not a default value remember and very important static variable if you provide any value to static variable as a zero okay so it will consider the provided value not a default value और ये आपको सामने चल के बहुत हेल्प करेगा जब आप एज एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट के मोड में चले जाओगे ठीक है बाय डिफॉल्ट डेफिनेटली जीरो है यस सर क्लास कब तक होगी क्योंकि इंटरनेट सर नहीं है अभी तक ओके आप कौन बात कर रहे हैं सर मैं यशपुर हां यश आप एक काम कर सकते हो अगर आपका नेट खत्म होता है मीनवाइल क्योंकि अभी थोड़ा 15 20 मिनट चलेगा अगर आपका नेट खत्म होता है तो आप वीडियो रिकॉर्डेड वीडियो है वो आप उसको डाउनलोड करके सुन लेना अदरवाइज कल इसके ऊपर आप मुझे क्वेश्चन कर सकते हो ठीक है ठीक है आपका नेट खत्म होगा मतलब सभी का नेट खत्म नहीं हो रहा है हम क्लास को कंटिन्यू करेंगे ठीक है या ओके अगर अगर ऐसा कोई दिक्कत आती है किसी को तो आप चैट बॉक्स में एक मैसेज डाल के आप लेफ्ट कर सकते हो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है ठीक है यश ठीक है सर या ओके गाइस सो आप देखोगे कि आपके आउटपुट में क्या आएगा डेटा जीरो डेटा वन की वैल्यू शुड बी जीरो 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 एज यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन हियर आई एम रिकम्पाइलिंग इट यू कैन सी डेटा वन इक्वस टू जीरो डेटा टू इक्वस टू जीरो डेटा थ्री इक्वस टू जीरो डेटा फोर इक्वस टू जीरो सो द पॉइंट इज टू बी रिमेम्बर हियर द वैल्यू विच आर स्टोअर or value which are provided to the static variable if we provide any value as a zero then it will it will consider the provided value not a default value okay so this one important point that i specifically wanted to mention in front of you guys okay and another important point as on your screen in, in yes uh, so sir is the same happen in case of global variable uh yeah it is it it will it will be happen in the same case of global variable also the same thing you can it can you can observe in global variable yeah, because default value for global variable is zero right 
Yes. Or yeah. can you elaborate what the difference between uh, global and lo- that uh, static variable? Yeah, you can easily identify static variable with the help of static keyword. The main important point that you need to consider while discussing the static variable that is, if you want to store value permanently into that variable, permanently means up to the program executions. Okay, function तक नहीं. जैसे अभी हमने डिस्कस किया जिस पॉइंट के ऊपर. तो वो वैल्यू एज इट इज रहेंगी ओके टू अंडरस्टैंड इट अगेन विल टेक जनरल एग्जांपल जस्ट गाइस नेम ऑफ आवर कॉलेज इज श्री संत गजानन महाराज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ओके एंड डिफरेंट डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स आर देयर एमबीए डिपार्टमेंट फर्स्ट ईयर डिपार्टमेंट मैकेनिकल कंप्यूटर आईटी इलेक्ट्रिकल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड एंड अदर डिपार्टमेंट्स आर देयर लाइक सो दीस आर द डिपार्टमेंट्स कॉलेज नेम इज श्री संत गजानन महाराज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग so that name cannot be changed department can be changed maybe computer department in future may be close ho sakta hai wo department band ho sakta hai so ya fir us department mein computer science and engineering ki jagah pe wo department university wahan se notification bhej denge aur bol denge ab aaj ke baad isko hum call karenge computer engineering instead of computer science and engineering okay so aaj ke baad hum isko call karenge computer engineering so wo naam change ho sakta hai but college ka naam change ho sakta kya No. No. No, no, sir. No, sir. तो वहाँ पे हमें फोर मेंशन करने पड़ेंगे ना स्टैटिक इन डाटा वन टू नहीं समझा मैं तो थ्री मेंशन ओनली टू कैन यू रिकॉल योर क्वेश्चन तब वाइड मेन में हमें चारों मेंशन करने पड़ेंगे ना वाइड मेन में अच्छा यहाँ पे स्टैटिक वेरिएबल जो आउटसाइड फंक्शन मैंने डिफाइन किया उसकी बात कर रहे हो हां यस सर वो सीधा या द सेम प्रॉपर्टी लाइक ग्लोबल यू कैन डिक्लेअर स्टैटिक वेरिएबल इनसाइड द फंक्शनल सो ओके एंड यू कैन डिक्लेअर स्टैटिक वेरिएबल आउटसाइड द फंक्शनल सो हियर इज अनदर वन इंपोर्टेंट डिफरेंस ग्लोबल वेरिएबल एंड स्टैटिक वेरिएबल ग्लोबल वेरिएबल्स आर दोस वेरिएबल व्हिच आर डिक्लेअर ऑलवेज आउटसाइड द फंक्शन अच्छा ओके यस सर स्टैटिक वेरिएबल मेन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ स्टैटिक वेरिएबल यू कैन डिक्लेअर स्टैटिक वेरिएबल इनसाइड द फंक्शनल सो एंड यू कैन डिक्लेअर स्टैटिक वेरिएबल आउटसाइड द फंक्शनल सो एज यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन that is another second important difference between global and static global and static local and uh, static once you use a static keyword in in front of any variable it will be treated as a static variable and you can use static variable inside the function as you can see static integer data 3 static integer data 4 it is in the inside the function but same the same kind of variable you can observe in outside the function also static int data 1 static int data 2 getting yes sir yeah so these are the differences and static variable uh, is is important concept we will see in more detail in upcoming lectures so with the with with this uh, lecture i think uh, everyone familiar with the concept of variable if you are not you can access my all videos i will provide link because i am uploading these all videos uh so after, i will share that link in tomorrow with you and then you can access that video you can understand and you can ask me anything any question during the lectures okay any question yes. 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 sir you have told us to sir tell how to access the video we cannot uh, access the video that you have yeah, recorded I, just don't worry mai sare ke sare video aapko available karwa ke deta kal कल मॉर्निंग में आपको पूरे वीडियो की लिंक शेयर करूंगा आपको सिर्फ एक काम करना है एवरीवन आपको क्या करना है आपको सब्सक्राइब करना है लाइक करना है और शेयर करना है आई होप एवरीवन अंडरस्टैंड ओके ओके सर ओके सर ओके सो ये सारे के सारे वीडियो में आपको अवेलेबल करवा के दूंगा आप आपके जो भी दोस्त होंगे उनको आप रेफर करो मैं आपको मतलब जब आप कॉलेज में आओगे तो एक अच्छा खासा चॉकलेट का पार्टी दूंगा सबको डोंट वरी
ठीक है जितने भी दोस्त होंगे आपको रेफर करना लाइक करना है शेयर करना है सब्सक्राइब करना रीजन ये है रीजन ओके मुझे पहले रिकॉर्डिंग स्टॉप करने दो क्योंकि इसमें कुछ एक्स्ट्रा का ऐड होते जा रहा है ओके फाइन